billion in uh, uh, is miljarden in uh, Netherlands and in Germany, but uh, in, in the US it's billion euro. And so uh, 500 milliarden euro, uh, um, that's the uh, profit of uh, the pharmaceutical investment business. So the point here is we have economic giants as opponents, but they are not right. They are not right. Otherwise, we, I wouldn't be here tonight. <laughs> if they would be right and I wrong, I wouldn't be here because David can only win if he's right. And of course, if that is so, then all the, all the things they tell you or 99% of the things they tell you are lies. And that makes them ethical dwarfs because it's a fraud business. And if you're in a situation like that, if I am in a situation like that, I can win. I can win because time is on my side. The more time goes by, the more research is being coming. Very important thought. We've talked about that. This is how they defend their privileges, scientific attacks, legal regulatory attacks. And if, if this fails, you open up the German Bild Zeitung and you find Dr. Raas, Dr. Charlatan and so on and so forth. Until we exposed that the chairman of the board of the publishing house that publishes Bild Zeitung, Springer Verlag in Berlin, was the same person who was chairman of the board of the sharing pharmaceutical company, the largest manufacturer of chemotherapy drugs. So they created their own little postilla being read by 12 million people in Germany. That's how you do it. So if, not, if everything else, if you read something bad about Dr. Rath, it must immediately make a click and say, well, it means they have no other tools anymore. It takes some time <laughs> for this click to happen because first you are, of course, it, it, it makes you angry and rightly so. So we'll be touching about cellular medicine, some basic things, cellular medicine and cancer, cardiovascular disease, a few slides on AIDS, pharmaceutical business with disease. I'll make that short because we've already talked about it. So here are the foundations. What separates us from the pharmaceutical approach to medicine. Well, if you go into the yellow pages in Amsterdam in the telephone book, you'll find and check out the doctors, you'll find the cardiologist, uh, the gastroenterologist, urologist, and so on. So every organ has a specialist. But health and disease is not decided at the level of organs. It is decided at the level of cells, the smaller units. And that's where we look at. Here are just a few of them, barrier cells in the artery walls, liver cells, muscle cells, connective tissue, uh, bones, tendons, blood cells, leukocytes, nerve cells. Whatever these cells do, they all function according to a master plan and have the same principal elements. They are comparable to a small city, how that operates. Of course, this is just a a little comparison that I'm making so that you can uh, engram that in your mind, but uh, it helps sometimes. So the operative plan that this cell has to do, for example, let's assume this is a, a pancreas cell that produces insulin, the hormone insulin. So how does this cell know that it has to produce insulin? Well, the information is being maintained in the nucleus, in the core of the cell. Then the insulin itself is being produced in the, what is called the Golgi apparatus or Golgi complex. And the energy for this uh, job is being provided by these organelles here called mitochondrion. And um, these three elements essentially explain how cells operate. If this is a, a white blood cell, uh, and the job would be to produce antibodies. But it would still need that core the mechanism to produce these antibodies and the energy. Am I talking understandably or am I, is it uh, too fast? Yeah? So, 
The things that interest us tonight, they deal with the energy level at the cell, with the power plant, the mitochondria. Now, when you hear how is energy being provided in your body, you probably hear about or read about fat, sugar, carbohydrates, and proteins. But hardly anyone ever tells you that there is a second set of things you need to know about. Because these three elements called macronutrients, macronutrients, proteins, carbohydrates, fats, they are just like charcoal, like briquette. But the fire to ignite this briquette, that needs to come from what we know as micronutrients, vitamins, minerals, trace elements. They are so-called cofactors in the energy cycle in each cell. And all the cells need the same energy in principle. And these micronutrients, they can be separated in these groups of molecules, vitamins, minerals, trace elements, certain amino acids, and certain other natural substances important for the metabolism. For example, an extract of green tea has proven to be very important for the defense against cancer and for immune defense too. Now this is an important information here. Micronutrient deficiency does not give us any alarm signs. What do I mean with that? If you want to live, you need certain things. One is oxygen. If you don't have oxygen, you feel that very quickly. After about five minutes, you're unconscious, maximum. If you don't get water to drink, another live substance, you feel thirst. If you are hungry, and your body tells you, I don't have enough macronutrients, protein, amino acids, and sugars. You have that alarm sign hunger. But your body doesn't give you an alarm sign on the micronutrients, even though they belong to those four elements that determine life. And that's very important, because the first sign, the first alarm sign, for deficiency of micronutrients is the disease itself. Disease meaning if you have a, over many years too little vitamins, too little micronutrients, you develop certain diseases. And so the only way for us to understand this is if we do it here in our head. For example, by talking about it. Just as basic information, which you can also get elsewhere, there are many robbers of micronutrients in your body. If you buy a salad uh, on the market and you store it in your refrigerator and think, well, in three days I'm going to eat a healthy, vitamin-rich salad, forget it. After three days, the vitamins are essentially gone out of that salad. There are many other things that uh, deprive the body uh, of, uh, of micronutrients, uh, storing, uh, cooking, uh, certain uh, um, uh, environmental factors. Then uh, uh, Nettie told uh, you that you're living in a stressful area. Stress, of course, um, is a factor. A certain medication, uh, when it's metabolized in the liver, is depriving the body of vitamin C. Uh, and other uh, vitamins in, in the um, uh, uh, function as a coenzyme for detoxification in the liver. And then, of course, uh, certain uh, life conditions, like uh, when you do a lot of sports, uh, pregnancy, the growth of the, of the uh, young, of the baby in the womb, is, uh, uh, the building of bones, etc., is absorbing an enormous amount of micronutrients from the mother. <clears throat> 